Hey guys, this is Julia and this is uh, my first journal with me video. So it's a very easy video. I just wanted to draw a girl. I, I love drawing girls, especially like, you know, I call them broken girls. Um, you will see what it is. So I don't use any watercolors or uh, acrylic paints. I just really wanted to do something easy. I will be using my markers and yeah. So right now I'm drawing this girl. And a very quick tip, uh, lately I've been, you know, creatively lost and I honestly, I don't really know what I want to do. So basically what I do, I just open my notebook and I just start to draw or, you know, just, I just start doodling and that's very helpful uh, usually if i'm really really lost and i don't know what to do i go for the easiest uh, options like i draw the girls or i draw something that i know how to do something that i love to do and then i'm like oh maybe i can add something to this maybe i can do something extra and then i'm like okay now i feel that my creative energy is up and I can do something extra. As you can see I failed but it's nothing actually, you can always improve it. Uh, I'm not a professional artist so yeah, you know what, you can fail as many times as you want to uh, or as you have to, it just, you know, whatever you can always improve it and we learn from our mistakes and this is the easiest way i guess so then i took this pink marker i wanted to add some um, colors to her cheeks and you can see why she is a broken girl yeah then i decided to uh, highlight or outline uh, her with this yellow marker, but I think it was like dry or something, so I, I threw away this marker and then I took another color, this yellow, uh, mustard yellow color, it's a very beautiful color, I, I really love these colors, thanks Tumblr I guess. I really love it when, you know, it's a few simple colors and, and it's not very colorful. Then I assume that this drawing was something spiritual, once again I love doing spiritual drawings or at least if they're spiritual uh, to me. So yeah, then I used blue and I used the colors that represent the chakras. Not in the, you know, the right order but, but I wanted to see these colors here. So yeah, purple or lavender, this is more like a lavender color, orange, yellow, blue. Red, I wasn't really sure about red because uh, red is like the lowest chakra, but yeah, I decided to go for it. And then the light blue. Then I decided to draw something that will represent the universe, so stars basically, and then I was kind of lost again, and you will see. Yeah, I decided to draw an eye. I'm obsessed with eyes, especially like third eye. I truly believe if you develop it, it, it will be so, so helpful and intuition and you know your higher self i truly believe in it and yes i use purple for the eye and uh, green my eyes are green so it kind of makes sense and then just the light
And yes, yeah, so the light basically surrounds uh, this eye and it means awakening. And yeah, that's when I was lost and decided to just roll it down, open your eyes, which once again makes sense. And here I decided to make something that will represent Mother Nature, so a few plants, just like simple grass and the green, which is also the color of one of the chakras. And I decided to draw some uh, flowers. Lately I've been inspired by very simple drawings. Um, something, you know, like if you go on Tumblr and if you search for like journaling, journal with me, art journaling, this very um, easy, uh, simple drawings, nothing special and yeah, so I was lost once again and I decided just to finish this girl and I love making drawings that seem like they're, you know, pieces of puzzle or something like that. I really, really love it. So for me it represents like she, she was broken, she still kind of is, but uh, after the awakening uh, process after she became awake she uh, started to realize who she is who she was who she will be and that's what uh, is helping her to you know unite or to become one piece I don't know if it makes any sense but once again as I told you I, I love making spiritual drawings and once again in this journal I don't really use special techniques uh, it's a very you know tricky journal uh, the pages aren't that great the pages definitely not for acrylic paints or watercolors or markers with uh, you know alcohol base so yeah i love to use just simple markers my black pen or blue pen So in the last cloud I wrote what are you trying to do and then I was like hey the page is pretty empty so I decided to draw more grass, more plants, uh, more nature because I love nature. I, I feel that people cannot, uh, well it's not that I feel, I, f I feel like this is a fact and uh, people cannot live without nature. We have to respect nature, we have to take care of it. And the best way to do it, of course, to go vegan and, you know, just um, know what's going on, be more aware, be more conscious, uh, recycle, don't waste food, do not waste, you know, clothing and stuff like that. So, yeah, I always say that nature can survive without people but people cannot survive without nature so but you know we are pretty much selfish so we don't really care but it's amazing that there are a lot of people still you know a lot of people and actually more and more i would say people who become more conscious who become awake and who really see what's going on so yeah I, I really love to make art or like drawings, um, I know professional artists they're like oh it's not art, uh, but I really love to do something with a meaning, something with a deep meaning, something with a message, just something spiritual, uh, yeah I'd like to combine education, art, uh, technology and just to try to 
make this world a better place and find uh, solutions for the problems. I don't know, I'm very passionate about it. I'm almost finished. I decided to add some red on her neck. You know, a 21 Pilots um, uh, Tyler, he had uh, this black paint uh, on his neck, on his hands. So I was like, hey, I want to do this as well. So it's finished. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.